Get into the new with Ford. New is EcoBoost technology. New is Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now, get into a new Focus, Fusion, or Escape with 0% financing for 60 months plus $2,000 trade assist cash. It was a thriller on Thursday night as the Georgia Southern men's basketball team was able to overcome a 16-point deficit in the second half to come back and tie the game. But ultimately, they lost 64-58 to to South Alabama, despite Ike Smith's 20 points and 6 rebounds. I was proud of the guys' effort tonight. You know, I felt like we competed, we played hard. Uh, we got down 16 points and we came all the way back and tied the game up. And um, really, it's just one of the times, a few times this year, I thought we fought through adversity. And uh, things were not going good. They were making shots, and they obviously had a lot of momentum. And we fought all the way back, tied it, and uh, then we just could not get over the hump there. It's just very frustrating, but, you know, we just, we just got to get tougher. You know, teams know um, they can just take advantage of us on the offensive rebounds because we're, we're, we, we lack toughness. So I just feel like we're going to be much tougher. You know, we, we played hard. We didn't exactly play smart. Um, we didn't execute well, and um, we didn't shoot the ball well. It's challenging my patience, but at the same time, I got to keep telling myself, you know, this is a first experience for a lot of them. And, um, you know, we were in that situation a couple times this year, and we caved in, to be honest. And, and tonight, you know, getting that situation where we started the second half poorly, they went on a run, and, um, and then we were able to fight back. So I'm encouraged by that. And I thought Ike Smith played very well tonight. Um, you know, he was aggressive. He was willing to make plays. And, um, you know, we just got to kind of get, you know, more guys on the same page and finishing and doing the right things. We can play better. We can play much better than we did tonight. Um, the good thing is it was a step forward by how hard we played and we fought through adversity. And, and now we just got to clean things up on some execution and, and, and being able to play without fouling and understanding, um, you know, how to guard guys better. But uh, I did think in the second half there were some positives, and, um, and, and that's what I'm going to preach to the guys. I don't want these guys getting down. I don't want them um, you know, losing their togetherness. Uh, we're going to emphasize the positives, and we're going to fix a couple things and keep on moving. The Eagles continue a home stretch on Saturday during a doubleheader with the women's basketball team against Troy. Games start at 2.30 p.m. For GSEagles.com, I'm Trisha Fishbian.